you bad motherfuckers, my name is Smack, and I'm gonna show you the customization features that Doom Force Beta has to offer. As you can see, the game will be released on May 13th, if that has answered one of your questions already. Now let's just jump into this real quick. So we're gonna check out customization, we're gonna start with the character. As you can see, we have multiple different options, but we're gonna be choosing armor first. You have the helmet, torso, left arm, right arm, legs, and base armor. We have multiple selections in each category for whatever you prefer. I mean, if you want to look like a Spartan, go ahead, girl. That's all you do, your thing. Boop. Torso, nothing special from what I've seen. I mean, other than that, it's it all looks pretty much the same. Pretty cool, though. The fact that you get to customize your character, I think that's a really nice touch. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Legs as well. You can also move the camera around. You can also see that your character has a mosquito bite ass. Look at that. <laughs> I don't even know why. Alright, but nothing. Nothing not, nothing else here other than that. Alright, base armor. We only have one option. I wonder what this is for. Look, what happens if you uncheck that? No, you don't even have the option to uncheck it. So, back out of that. You guys saw that. We have three options of colors. A matte finish, glossy, and metallic. We can choose all of these handy dandy colors for all of you crazed artistic freaks out there that got that gift. To make yourself look like a beautiful diamond, here you go. Do it up with what you will. This is what you got. All right. Choose the head visor color as well. On top of all the armor coloring, you can put a decal and also color that as well. Arranging from this, uh, fucking SpongeBob flower for some goddamn reason. I don't even know why. We have no camo for the armor yet. And peace signs. Don't know why that's even in here. Alright, but yeah, you get the point. We got that. We can color this bad boy real quick. I think we can do whatever we want, really. You got three options of that one color you chose. So that's pretty cool. I like that as well. Gives you a little more versatility in terms of the coloring. You can also color a little more in depth with that. But as I said, I like that. Looks pretty good. Simple. Beautiful. Next. We're going to be diving into the favorite, my favorite part of this whole entire thing is the dirt level and either scratched or not scratched. What do you prefer? I don't know, but I'll tell you this right now. This is what it looks like completely brand spanking new. You just got out of the G.I. Joe box. This is what you're looking like. You're looking pretty flashy. You're looking nice and snazzy. But I don't want none of that. I want to look like a dirty toilet paper, so there we go. No, not that better. That's disgusting. There we go. Yeah, that looks like after. Yeah, that looks good. Yep, perfect. All right, so we'll keep it at that. Very simple, straightforward. Nothing, nothing too hard here. Until you start coming along the lines of the weapon customization, which I didn't jump into that much other than in this weapon right here. Nothing too special here. Just a quick little green decal and a purple finish. Looks pretty nice. But yeah, these are all the weapons you can choose from. Pretty nice. Good to see right there. Look at that perp. Mm. Rocket launcher, plasma. There we go. We'll just customize one real quick so you guys can get the adjust of that. You can also choose from camos, symbols as well. We'll do something simple. I want to make my weapon look pretty cool, so I'm look like that. Why is it so slow to like spin it? Jesus Christ, give me a break, dude. So slow. All right. After that, again, matte, glossy, or metallic. Give it a metallic look to it. I want more metallic. Pristine, of course. You want your weapon looking nice and delicious. What do we want? What do we want? There we go. Look at that. It looks crazy as hell. What the hell, man? Normal? Yeah, why not? Look at that. Nice and reflective. It's pretty sick. I like that a lot, actually. That's. This looks almost looks like an LMG. <laughs> Look at that. Fucking crazy, man. Yeah, but as you can see, pretty much it. You can get even more in depth, Jesus. Action going. Look at the man. So it's just pops. Pops. What do I want? I want purple. Love purple. Looks good. There we go. Make it, make it more. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Pops out. Look at that. Looking nice. Look at it's looking nice. Oh, and then of course the same option that you did to your character with filthy, immaculate, or worn or spotless. 
You can make it look like a dirty piece of shit or gorgeous, but why would you do that if you want to, you know, make them weapons look gorgeous? And that's pretty much it, yeah. Straightforward, ladies and gentlemen, straightforward indeed. Mm. But yeah, and now on to the taunts. Pretty simple. Um, once you get towards the the end of the match, they will show the top players, and those along the top have been chosen to utilize one of the taunts. And as you can see, they are pretty funny. Some of them are goofy. Some of them are serious. I like this one. This is the one I use. Warns metal, bro. To the heavens. <laughs> Stupid. I don't like it. Yeah, but this this kind of reminded me of Black Ops 3 a little bit. <laughs> Uh, other than that, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all you get to choose from, so, enjoy, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this sort of stuff, I guess, so yeah. That concludes the customization features of Doom 4, thank you so much for watching, please comment down below and let me know what else you'd like to see from Doom 4, thank you very much, take it easy guys.